Hello, my name is uh, The Mangs, and I welcome you guys back to some uh, more Let's Play Fire Emblem Bloodlines! Mm -mm -mm. The homecoming is here! So, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to jump into... Um, okay, that was weird. <laughs> it's time to jump into a new part of Bloodlines that I haven't seen before. From this point on, I'll be completely in the dark about what's going on. I finished speaking to Lois. He says that he's uncomfortable with us staying in this castle. He's worried that us being here means that the Red Luster are eyeing him. So I told him we'd be gone by morning. Have you considered where you intend to go next? The Red Luster is growing at a rapid pace. If we stay here and fight in Poloi, our efforts leading to now will be fruitless. What exactly are you asking of me, Gillian? I've already asked... I've already told you that the Red Luster and are just one part of a much larger and complicated web of plotting. I need you because you have potentially incredible vital assets. If I can discover what you were supposed to be used for, it may be possible to truly prevent some further events that has to do with your family, Doldrum and Vipera. Right, I get that. My issue comes from the idea that you expect a ragtag group of fighters, led by a Voluprian who can't even find Doldrum on a map, a puppy and me, someone who hates Doldrum as much as Doldrum hates him, to go in there and do what? Stop them? Do you even have a plan or do you want all of us to die? You seriously traveled this far and have already done so much in hopes that I'll say yes and agree to help you, didn't you? I understand the gravity of the situation, but no one else knows what I do. Uh, knows what I do. Not, not not knows what I do, but knows what I do. Yeah, that's, uh, I would perhaps restructure that sentence a little bit. Uh, and you're the only one I can rely on. Why me? I've abandoned my allegiance to both Viper and Doldrum. I have nothing left. Damn it, Gillian, this is hard to bear. Maybe I wasn't thinking straight the other day, but I don't just don't know if I can help. You do not realize how much of your life was forgotten to you. You must understand me, Lord. I can't help you remember your past. Or, I can help you remember your past. I can help you remember everything you lost. I'm just gonna take a moment to say that it's kind of hilarious that Gast made fun of the Amnesia plot in his in his uh, plot review video. <laughs> and yet, his main character has Amnesia. <laughs> I can help you remember everything you lost. I know about your Amnesia. <laughs> yeah, here it is. I know your memories of Angelica makes you jealous. I know your memories of Cassandra makes you sad, and I know your member memories of Ajatar makes you scared. Stop it! It was my duty to keep you happy all those years ago. What, was she, was she his prostitute or something? Gillian, stop it! I can fix you, but only if you join my cause. Gillian, stop it! The fact that you'd wildfully barter my own memories and emotions against me is really twisted. All that crap is buried in the past anyway, and I'm not about to dig it up again. This crap has never been buried at all. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it still haunts you. You're lying to yourself, Prince Ortus. You should not lie. Enough, Gillian. I'm going to be... I'm not going to be part of your schemes. Find someone else to help you. Oh well, I guess that's the end of Bloodlines. Barrylard made you feel joy. Olympia made you feel hope. And I made you feel safe. You would kill for those feelings again. Because they have been lost to you since the day you woke up here. This is your last chance, Ortus. Your last chance to decide whether you want to live prosperously, or live as the shell of who you truly are. Who you truly are destined to be. Ah, oh, he went down the stairs. Aww. Keep an eye on him, would you? Okay, so snakes are trying to take over the world, and we need the uh, Bram the Snake Hunter to take them down. Alright, I get it. Midnight! I love dark castles. It is probably my favorite environment to fight in. Please, please give me a dark castle map, that would be awesome. Ah, damn her! Ow! She can read me like an open book, she always could, you know. And the way she backed me into a corner back there, she just saw right through me. Damn her! Dewey, we've known each other for a long time, huh? Have you? I mean... Have you really known each other for a long time? I mean... What, it took us about a week to travel here? I mean, you've known him for a couple of weeks. At the most. Oh yeah, actually, now that I think about it, he did know Dewey before the events of Bloodlines, didn't he? You think I'm happy? Bark twice for yes. I see. Do you think I should stay here or go? Bark twice for... Did you just say words? Wow, my dog can talk. That's pretty neat. <laughs> I thought Dewey was the one saying that. 
Lurking in the shadows, are you? I have trouble sleeping, remember? Right. I want to talk to you about something. Well, to be more specific, I want you to tell me about someone. Go for it. Tell me about Berylard. Gillian mentioned that he makes you happy or something, right? What do you feel about your little brother exactly? Did Gillian put you up to this? What? No, we're friends. This is what friends do. After you stormed out, I figured she said something to set you off. That was actually the most li lively thing I've ever seen you do since we met. I do feel a little ashamed for bailing out on you earlier, but it's just hard for me to talk about. Looks like it's two against one. You know, my old man taught me this. The only thing that comes from running away from your problems are their desire to keep chasing after you. <sighs> Thank you, oh wise one. Alright, fine. I love Berylard, but that was in the past. I just don't know if I still do. Whenever I think about that, I can barely remember anything. It feels like I can only count those truly vivid memories I had by hand. It really feels like amnesia. I want to think it's not worth thinking about it anymore. Yeah, I got it. But what do you feel when you think about him specifically? It's good? Bad? Good, happy. Well, shoot, man, that's good, right? Usually. Hmm. Remember in the woods when you spoke of truths? How we all have our own truth? Yeah. I think you need to find yours. Otherwise, you'll always be living like a shell of yourself. Just like Gillian said you would. Is she crazy for doing what she's doing? Heck yeah, she is. But fighting against all odds is what we should live for. Yeah, maybe you're right. Um, yeah, <laughs> I hope so. You sounded a bit nervous there. Something tells me you haven't yet told me exactly what you wanted to. Is there something I can do? Yeah, well, no. Okay, look. Bram, after tonight, I'm going home. What? Yeah, I was thinking about this for a while now. I need to go back. I think I'm strong enough now, at the very least. I can save my folks and get them somewhere safe. So this is goodbye, then. Nah, if you decide to reach Doldrum, I'll come with you through the and Adred Sea. Then we can split up. Once the ocean forks. I see. Look, if I had a chance to see the family I loved again, I'd fight to my last breath. You only get one family, one blood. And even if that family is just one or two people, it's still important. Gillian is right, I think. Living like this wouldn't do any good for no for anybody. You might think this is all you are, but you're special, just like me. I'm fighting to take back what I lost. You should do the same thing. Take back what they stole from you. Otherwise, you're already beat. Ha! Have some pride! I know you got some. I just gotta say, this piece of dialogue right here is the best I've seen from Malcolm. Absolutely fantastic. This is... This is how you write a convincing dialogue that moves the plot forward. This whole... I just... I fucking love this. This is the best I've seen Malcolm at. You should be a motivational speaker. I'm just a good guy, so... That's how you move a plotline forward, like here. Like, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. The next morning. Duke Lois, I'd like to remind you again that I hope that their well-being is in your, on your mind. As I previously told you, I will see what I can do. Thank you. May I ask what, you're, what you are to do in light of these events? I'm joining Gillian's cause. Then we must head to a Nike immediately. A Nike? That's a death wish. I had hoped you would choose to help me, so I made travel arrangements in advance. A Nike has ship ship that we shall use. But it's a death wish. The axe arms base themselves there. I'm not sure if you noticed, but they hate us, especially me. Their highest ranking member owes me a substantial favor. Trust me, Ortis. Alright, I'll trust you. I have given knights, Nobia and Lemonai, the title of retainers for my son. Ralel will also be joining you. Your son? Yes, I have granted him permission to go. Do you object? I don't, but that seems like a reckless idea. I have my reasons. Perhaps he shall tell you them. We should get going. Yeah. One more thing before you go, Prince. There has been reports of criminal activity in the Shran Woods. I would send men out there myself, but all my soldiers are dedicated to heightening the security in Amfret. I was hoping you could investigate. Perhaps your new knights could help you. I see. We will pass through the Shran Woods and en route to a an Ike and see what we can do. Much obliged. Godspeed to you, Autus. I hope Rolel is gonna tell us exactly why he wants to join us. En route to a Nike. Hey, Gillian. Are you alright, my lord? Do you need anything? Ah, uh, no, I just wanted to apologize for walking out on you earlier. No need to apologize, my lord. I had expected as much. If you insist. Thank you for joining me. I know this will be overwhelming, but I know you will not regret it. Is Barrelard okay? Is he safe? When did you last speak to him? 
couple months before I betrayed them all. He's become quite the talented one. He's doing well, my lord. He's healthy, safe and sound. Has he ever talked about me? Of course, my lord. You're his older brother. Right, of course. Hey, guys. Oh, I think this is Malcolm. Hey, guys. Sorry to interrupt, but I think I found those bandits Duke Lois was talking about. Yep, that's Malcolm. Wow, those Tarvos is being cornered by those men over there. What are they doing here in Poloi? Looks like they have been traveling for some time. Looks like they're in trouble. What are we gonna do? Wait a second. I recognize this man down there. No way. What are the chances? Who are they? More Axoms? This is a rival gang. Those colors belong to the Hurricanes. Ah, oh, what do you mean? That you recognize that man though? He used to be my boss. What? Oh wow, this guy looks amazing. Looks like a movie star. I'll offer it up one more time, horseman. Give up your ponies and you're free to go. It's that simple. Speak, human. Sheesh, you're in Poloi. I try to be reasonable. Coming around here without thinking about the loot you're all walking with is your fault. These are sacred beings, not to be touched by the likes of you. You humans have tampered enough with a horse with your disgusting habits. Alright, alright, listen. I didn't have a problem with arguing. But us humans only got so much patience. Marco! Even hearing you talk so slow is starting to wear me out. Damn, they can't hear me from there. This isn't good for those beings. We're going to have to rush down there. What the heck, Bram? What are you doing? Marco, lower your axe. <laughs> Am I dreaming or is my little boy in front of me? My goodness, Bram, where did you even come from? Up there, Marco. If you're planning on harming these beings, I'm afraid you're gonna have to do s I'm afraid I'm gonna have to do something about it. Come on, boy! I think it's showtime! What the hell are you doing here, boy? I'm in the middle of something. Back off and wait your turn. Can't do that. I was assigned to stop you. <laughs> Alright, boy. Play knights and bandits somewhere else. You're exploiting victims of circumstance, like you always used to do. <laughs> so what are you gonna do then? Bram, what's going on here? Get ready to fight. The Hurricanes won't let anyone through unless we give in to their demands. This is the trouble that Lois meant. Huh, so you did become a knight. I'm pleased you still know our code, son. But that means you also know how we deal with castle dwellers like you. This'll be fun. Alright, boys, come on out of the camps. Alright, so yeah, you can see there's some tents here. You misunderstand, Marco. I haven't become a knight. I'm just doing my job. You're still in my way, son. Well, you're in mine. Ha! <laughs> I won't kill you. Your friends are dead meat. You made a mistake fighting me. Just try to make it in my way. Sorry to drop in unannounced. I'm Bram. Look, I don't know what you're saying, but I know the Hurricanes are big game poachers. Let us handle them. Let me speak to the Valgrif. You needn't worry. Or, you needn't worry. We're both Euron. So pretend he doesn't exist. Pretend it's just me wanting to help you out of a bind. Together, we can protect your horses. You wish to protect our sacred ones? Thank you, Valgrip. We trust you. Bram, what's the plan? Those guys are deceptive, and we're on their home turf. Poachers will emerge from the camps until we siege them. Let's split up into three groups to cover the most ground. The canes... The canes are also notorious for having a pretty deadly arsenal. Marco is waiting up there, so we're gonna have to need to fight... So we're gonna need to fight him, too. I suppose it's time to show Ortus what his servant can do. I hope he will be impressed with the combat capabilities of a Viperian. Alright, so it's time for this map. I've actually seen this map before, because this is the map that was showcased during Fire Emblem F uh, E3. So, um, of course, uh, the boss of this uh, map, Marco, is right here. Wow, this guy is fucking strong. So yeah, uh, this is a new mechanic to Bloodlines. We got camps. Now camps, um, they usually have some loot associated to them. Ooh, what? Blacklight reverses the magic triangle. Ooh, that's awesome. It's light magic that's good against anima. It's a, I, I fucking love reaver, reaver tomes. I really do. So yeah, here, these camps right here, uh, you have to kill them. They have a lot of hit points. But once you take them down, they'll stop spawning reinforcements. But they'll keep spawning reinforcements until you actually kill them. This thing, this camp drops a heavy spear. This camp right here drops a gold icon. I really like this. This is basically experience points uh, in, in, in form of an item. So uh, there will also be gold icons placed on uh, enemies from time to time that you can steal with Tyron and give them to whatever units you want to level up. I really think this is a fantastic idea. Such props to Gast for like thinking thinking about this because this is amazing. So uh, 
Yeah, already I'm fucking loving this map. Tide Shock. Effective versus Merfolk. Yeah, the Merfolk arc is coming up pretty soon, I think, so we definitely won't ban. A Gaul is gonna make fucking... Oh, nice. So this is a silver icon. Grants 25 experience points. I like it, I like it. There's several icons. So yeah, Gaul is gonna make fucking mincemeat out of the Merfolk <laughs> once he gets that Tide Shock. So yeah, I've already done the battle preparations. I'm gonna send... Um... I'm gonna send the Nilo together with Lemonai over here. Although, now that I think about it, maybe it's not such a good... I think maybe Lemonai should go down south instead. Um, and I'm gonna send Malcolm, Dewey, and Radali up to deal with these guys. Now, uh, you actually are forced to bench someone, and I decided to bench Kyla. Simply because, I mean, I don't know. I think Kyla is one of the weakest members of my team so far. I mean... Yeah, sure, she has really good skill and speed, but she's locked to one range with Cat Claws. I mean, maybe she gets some other weapons after a while, I don't know. But I I really don't like Kyla as a unit. I mean, she's just a bad Myrmidon in my opinion. I mean, maybe maybe she is good, I don't know. But yeah, I, it, was either Ky it was either Kyla or Lemonai, and I felt like bringing Lemonai, because she's tanky, you know. And yeah, Br Bram did warn you that the uh, enemies have a pretty advanced weaponry. As you can see right here, they do... So, uh, we gotta... Yes. Oh, wow, this guy. Yeah. JR. Uh, I don't think he becomes playable uh, during this map, but he is he is playable, I'm pretty sure, because I saw his growth rates. Swordsman constantly testing himself, sharp wit and extremely competitive. He's like Edge Lord, the Edge Master. Comes with JR's Edge. <laughs> Which places on contact. So edgy. But yeah, uh, as you can see right here, we, we have Halberds, Sword Reavers, Axe Reavers over here. Yeah, so these bandits have really, really good equipment. There's a hammer over here. So you gotta be very, very careful. Uh, always keep an eye out on their equipment. I think Gas got a little bit expired by Conquests. Instead of Skill Awareness, he got Inventory Awareness. Those Tarvos are doing our job, sadly. They should just protect their own. If I want them to stop fighting for us, I'll talk to the big shirtless one. If I want them to stop fighting for us, okay. Maybe you should let me talk to them instead. They're more likely to trust me. I don't think they have much of a choice either way. But you're probably right. I'll still try to talk to him. Alright. 57 and 63. 57 and 63. It must be destiny to see you again under the circumstances such as these, mustn't it? I'd not have it any other way. Alright, so I had to make a shortcut right here, but I'm back now. I decided to redo the battle preparations a little bit because uh, I saw some potential for Redali to go to the west instead. And uh, yeah, I also want uh, Narmid to be a little bit closer to the center because I saw that this guy is wielding a Lance Reaver, which means that Narmid should be able to do pretty decently against the guy. Anyway, we gotta turn the animations on. There we go. And also, I uh, gotta check for some conversations. Bram has one with Balo, and Malcolm has one with Scrybog. Probably gonna try talking to them, but from what I understood, you can talk to them if you want them to stop fighting, but I don't want them to stop fighting. There's a lot of enemies here, so I would appreciate their help. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can take this guy on. Yeah, we can. He only does one damage to us, so that's nice. Wow, that is a really fucking cool animation. I love it. He's wielding a fucking halberd. That is so cool. Anyway, let's go and take down this ranger. Hello. Oh, what? Oh, come on. I missed an 88 percenter. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, maybe Kale can rectify this. Or maybe we should just send Nilo. I don't know. Anyway, uh, looks like Radali can, uh, can hold her own against these guys. But I'm definitely gonna stand on the forest, though. Because that fighter is scary. Oh, that is a really cool animation. I love that little giggle she does at the end there. That's that's pretty fucking cool. I like that. Alright, well, Nyla can finish off this shit. Bam! Sit down, son. Alright, so uh, I think, yeah, uh, we can actually have Ralel kill this guy. There we go. And I am pretty sure that a Gali can fuck this guy over. He can. So the question is, should I attack from this tile? Or should I attack from this tile? Or maybe I should just attack from, from this tile. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Because fucking a Gali is the boss. Doubling mercenaries. Because he is a Gali. Aw, yeah. Aw, yeah. 
This guy is too fucking good. 17 base speed. Alright, then I'm pretty sure Dewey can kill this guy. We have the new Iron Fang. It's kind of nice. I, I like that Dewey got another tooth. I don't see why you'd ever use the normal tooth, though, because the Iron Fang is just better, but hey. I do believe in a previous patch, <laughs> the tooth actually had durability, so it would break after a while. Ow. That's all I can say. Maybe I should have given Tyron a Steel Sword. That would have been nice, actually. Alright, let's see. Let's uh, attack this fucker. Too bad Malcolm can't one-round him, but he's wielding a slim lance, so his speed is really high. Anyway, we have to kill this guy, so I'm gonna place Nobia right here with an Iron Sword. Ah, she doubles. Lovely. With those four guys, I'm pretty sure... Ow! Fuck, fucking hell, he hit me. I'm pretty sure with these four we can take down that tent. Ba 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 there we go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, perfect, perfect. All right, then we can. I'm probably gonna send Lemonai down here to protect Nilo. Yeah, probably a good idea. Ooh, we have an X Reaver. Let's use none. Perfect. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So I think um, maybe we should keep Sadati back here to heal up Rodali. I think that's a good idea. Then we can use Daphne to protect the horses. Alright, he's actually going for Dewey. Ow! Wow, this is one beefy Pegasus Knight. Gets bitten by Dewey and gets shot by Malcolm, and he's still fucking breathing. Ow, okay, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Ow! Okay, I'm pretty sure Redali one runs him, though. If Redali can double, which she cannot. Alright, Agali, my man, you gotta dodge this. Good job. Wow, this guy actually won't get killed. That is one beefy fucker. But that's fine. Agal is pretty high level now compared to everyone else. It's kind of nice that he's not taking all the kills. Oh, hello there. Oh, this guy has an axe reaver as well. What a copycat. That is really cool. I've never seen the Ranger Lance animation before. That is pretty fucking cool. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to get tired of Rodali's dodge animation. That is just too cool. Rodali has a pretty kick-ass crit animation as well that I've seen in one of the montages uh, got gas released, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, Rodali is perfect for taking this uh, left flank right here. If she kills this guy, which she's not, um, which she's not gonna do, might want to consider using the spring blade against uh, the fighter. See, so, yeah, I think you talk to JR with Bram. Um, yeah, okay, so maybe we should talk to them and make them stop attacking. Ah, uh, maybe that's not such a bad idea, actually. Or they are kind of helpful, though. I'm not gonna lie, I mean... They are sort of helpful. Maybe we should... I don't know. We could talk to them from... I mean, it gives us more experience, but yeah, a lot of guys just came out here. Holy shit. This guy has a Steel Lance, which means that Malcolm should be able to double the guy, and he is. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll talk to them and make them stop attacking. That would give me more experience. So, in a way, it would be good for me. And I wonder, will that make them return to their horses? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try to talk to the guy. Um, My allies see darkness in your intent, but I see honesty. Odd for humans to look honest. My elders say humans are bad. Many humans try to kill us here, try to steal our sacred ones. Well, we're trying to save them, just like you all are. You should go back to them. We can fend off these men. They are our business, not yours. Speak slower, human. I listen well only if I understand. You, Tarvos. Yes. Go back. Okay. To your horses. Okay. We humans. Yes. Will fight. Hmm. Those humans. Oh, this is good. I protect the sacred ones only. Yes. <laughs> okay, that is kind of cool. Oh, it makes makes them go back. Okay, that's really cool. I like that. That is really cool. Now we gotta be careful because Dew is very injured here. Um, will he get killed by this guy? He will. He will indeed. 
Okay, so that guy does six damage to us. Da -da -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> Wait, what happens if I frenzy howl the fucking tent? Also, can the tent fucking retaliate? No, it can't. What happens if I frenzy howl the tent? That's hilarious. Yeah, well, hmm. Let's see, Iron Fang, Tooth. Yeah, Dewey's gonna die if I, if I if I don't protect him, so. Suppose I should go back, equip the Iron Fang, and slap on a slap patch. Alright, Tyrant should be able to fuck off this guy. Please, please don't miss. Thank you. And then I know, maybe I should just start attacking the tents. Might be a good idea. Or I could just start whacking this guy. Might be a better idea to do that, actually. He doesn't have a better weapon, does he? Only a javelin? Alright. Yeah, then I think we should do this. Might want to bring Ralel up to heal. But yeah, we gotta we gotta kill this fucking tent before it spawns more dudes. And Daphne can probably just stay up here, I think. Yeah. Ah, uh, you know what, now I'm gonna move Daphne back. I mean, if if they wanna go for the centaurs, they can, but it's not a very good idea, I think. Alright, so a Goldie time. Uh, we probably wanna stay out of JR's range, I think. Until we can talk to him with Bram. Or I could move a Goldie up here. And start smashing these guys. Oh my god, a Goldie, you're so fucking good. Oh my god, a Goldie, you're so fucking good. I mean, actually come to think of it, a golly might just torch they are in a single turn. Okay, that's bad. Oh fuck, he's gonna torch him. Uh, 15 damage. No, he's not. He's not gonna torch him. He's gonna do 20 damage to him. Alright. That's not so bad. Oh wow. You have hit rate issues, my friend. Okay, so Redali just took a lot of damage from this guy. Uh, she can void him, and I think that's probably a good idea. Unless I want to do this and heal. Might be a better idea, actually. Or I could whip forth my spring blade. Yeah, I know what to do. I can kill this guy with the spring blade, and then I can trade over the uh, void tome. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> this looks really fucking cool. Oh my god. <laughs> kill artists. That is the stuff of legends right there. Holy shit. Okay, so yeah, uh, can this guy attack Rodali? He can. Wow, this guy has 11 speed. He'll do 13 damage to Rodali. Which means that... Rodali should be fine. Yep, Rodali should be just fine. There we go. I mean, we can heal, but then he's gonna go for Sadati. Um, and, uh, and I won't be able to retaliate. And I, li and I like to be able to retaliate, so... Alright, now, we can probably send Nilo to deal with these mages, but we gotta be careful about this Myrmidon. So if we send Nilo down here with the Void, she'll be able to retaliate on these guys. So we should probably move everyone else out of range. Yeah, I don't want these guys going for Lemon Eye at all, so... Okay, so what can we do about this fucking horse guy? I mean, we can try to hit him, but it's, uh... <laughs> I spent... I wasted a lot of time trying to talk to the guy. Yeah, that's not fantastic. I mean, we can try. We can see. Oh, it worked. Okay. Maybe Kale can finish the job with his hand axe. Nope, he cannot. Okay, how about the iron axe? Nope, he cannot. My only, my only hope is that this hits and then I can kill him off with Ralel, but it did work, so... The question is, is it safe to use Ralel to kill this guy? Because we have this fucker. Ah, uh, he won't kill him. Especially not if I'm in a forest tile. Alright, this has to hit though. Okay, good. Sweet! Speed and luck. Wow, Ralel has pretty decent speed, actually. Uh-oh, here comes JR. Alright, so good. Agal is not gonna kill him, but is he within Bram's range right now? Because if not, I'm gonna fucking murder the guy. 
Uh, no, I don't think Bram can speak to him. Fuck. Okay, that's bad. Also, I didn't check if this guy doubles for Dolly. Please don't double. Ah, he doubles for Dolly. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck me. It's fine though, because the Blaze Mage does one damage, so it's okay. It's okay. Uh, no, I don't think Bram can reach reach the guy. Wow, that was that was way too risky. Well, what I can do now is I, I can kill this mage, and then I can swap Rodali's weapon around to the Spring Blade. I think the reason Rodali gets doubled here is because the Void is really heavy. Hit points, magic speed, lovely. Lovely, lovely. And this is exactly what I hoped would happen. Oh, look at that, Nilo, no damage. Resistance tanking. Ba 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 ba. Perfect, perfect. She takes down both of these fuckers. So yeah, I find I find I found a purpose for Nilo, guys. She's a mage killer. Ugh. Okay, now we have to kill this fucking tent. I hope it stops spawning reinforcements now. Uh, no reinforcements from that tent. Okay, lovely.